Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. I'm going to show you the switches of the Millbrook Railroad today. This switch here is Sugar House Siding South Switch. It has angle iron points like everything else does on this railroad. It is a spring switch like every other spring switch on the railroad. And this is a unique switch in that it has a fabricated frog. This is my first attempt at a fully fabricated frog. And it's kind of lackluster. If I'm going to keep this frog, then I need to do some adjustments to it and maybe even weld some more pieces on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an aluminum frog in here, a cast aluminum frog that will replace it. It will be much smoother. And this is one of the frogs that I had made by Odd Duck Foundry. That would be Peter Grant in Orrington, Maine. Um, this is on the 5 8 inch tall rail. It is a flange bearing frog. It wears in. It doesn't wear out as much. Well, it will wear out, but it wears in at first. And uh, it is cast aluminum. And the flange weighs extra wide to accommodate both seven and a quarter and seven and a half inch cage equipment, which we have on this railroad. This is Woodchuck Run South Siding Switch. It will need to be moved. It's definitely not finished. All I did was put ties in here, and it was going to be a fairly sharp switch, but I'm going to have to pull this out. I think what I'm going to do is replace these ties, stretch the switch out a little more. Not completely decided, but it, it has to be moved anyway. It has to move to the other side of the bridges here. These are the woodchuck run bridges, and the switch will be moved right down here. This little piece of track here. And that little hump there where the tree hit it back in the spring. Yeah, I still haven't replaced that yet. It's been six months. I'll do it eventually, but at this point the plow goes over it, so... It stays the way it is until I can get to it. This is the most recent switch on the Millbrook Railroad. This goes into the new siding, Woodchuck Run siding. This is Woodchuck Run siding north switch. The switch frog is one of the cast switch frogs from Orrington, Maine, from Peter Grant. So this is down here on the 5 8 inch rail section. 5 8 inch rail is intended as 1 inch scale rail. And the reason I have so much of it is because I could get a bunch of it pretty cheap. There are people getting out of 4 and 3 quarter inch gauge, which is 1 inch scale, and I figured this rail is better than wood and better than angle iron, so I got a good deal on most of it. On this switch here, I formed the switch points with the angle grinder. Much like I did with the chicken coop switch. But a little bit differently. Each switch is different. And I may have to adjust this some more. It's not perfect. My switch building techniques are not perfect. We've got the guardrails in here, either side of the frog. That protects the frog point. And you can see it's doing a fairly good job here. You can see the rail, the, you can see the wheel marks on the switch frog. Those will wear in. These frogs are made to wear in. They'll ride up um, and over. You'll feel a little bit of a hump when you first put them in, and that'll go away after after a bunch of traffic goes through. This switch is very different from all the rest of the switches on the railroad. This switch is using Culp rail. That's 825 thousandths of an inch tall. This is my second newest switch. The rail comes from Peter Nusky. So does the frog. That frog is made for this rail. 
and the points are made, well, they're adapted for this rail. Had to put everything on risers, but that's what you do. You get sliders out of them. And it works very, very well. This is the first switch that I shaped the ends of the points like this. And I might have shaped this one a little too much. Nothing a welder can't fix when the time comes. Looks like that time should come sooner rather than later because I'm seeing some real wear right there on the, on the stock rail. So this is the first seven and a quarter inch gauge track switch I built. Well, seven and a half, seven and a quarter, it does both. And it's pretty well beat up. It's just aluminum rails with some steel rails mixed in with it. This steel rail is, is an interesting thing. This is Buddy L steel rail made in 1949, somewhere around there. Actually a piece of history. It was part of a switch frog when I first got it. This was a uh, four and three quarter inch gauge switch originally, and I pulled it all apart and rebuilt it and stretched it, and put different uh, points on it, turned it into a seven and a half, seven and a quarter inch gauge switch. This is the second switch I built. Notice there is some angle iron welded to the Buddy L steel rail. These are the only two switches that I have Buddy L steel rail on. This was another four and three quarter inch gauge switch that I re-gauged. I basically took the best parts of the four and three quarter inch gauge switch and turned it into a switch for seven and a half and seven and three quarter. The reason I'm mentioning both is because this railroad does both. You notice all the switch frogs are a little bit wider, with exception to one. It's a little bit rough when you go over it with seven and a quarter inch gauge equipment. Thanks for watching this video on the switches of the Millbrook Railroad. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next video.